what is going on people it is your boy Svendi bringing you some more of that battlefield 3 damn it and we got some rush on operation firestorm now this is a pretty badass gameplay um, myself I was wrecking these dudes in the tank with a lot of help from pyro um, we actually had a lot of members of the Svendi army in this game people that weren't even in my squad um, Geno Hacker and Pyro did a pretty big duty of keeping this tank up and um you know we were getting fucking rattled at parts of the game which you're gonna see and they those dudes were just repairing like a boss um so we we're playing some rush operation firestorm if you know what i'm saying and you know i gotta say from the time when the patch hit when i was you know pissing and moaning oh there's too much recoil and they really screwed up the foregrip attachment and oh my gosh I don't even know I don't this doesn't even feel like the same game anymore oh my god oh yeah from that time till now my feelings have drastically changed you know it, it really I realized that it was really nothing more than an adjustment period for myself and I have no fucking clue what this dude in that tank was doing he was sitting there just looking at me like oh my gosh you look marvelous where did you get that coating at da, 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 da. and I just blew his ass to shit but um you know for anyone that has gotten discouraged from the patch, I can tell you that it will get better. It's just an adjustment period. Nothing more, nothing less. You see, I'm just duping these dudes with a tank right here. The dude that I killed was actually a member of the Svendi army as well. He was in the podcast on Saturday night. You may know him as Wayne. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, damn it. And furthermore, mm -mm -mm. go. You know, the tank is an amazing weapon to use in this game, people, if used properly. Really, I think some of the better uses out of tanks are using them to kind of barrel through certain parts of a map if there's like a choke point, um, using them to cover bombs after you plant them, or using them to cover, to cover bombs if you're defending and stuff like that. You know, it, a tank's not something you're just going to run right through and push right over. If you're working together as a team, you can take down tanks pretty quickly. But if you are working together as a team to keep that tank up and to use it to your advantage, it's going to be pretty fucking hard to get a tank down, as you can see. And even right here, while we're waiting to move up to the next set of objectives, you can see me and the other guy and the other tank on our team. We were sitting there blowing holes in the building. That is going to be less cover and less vantage points that the enemy team is going to have. So that's something else to keep in mind. Now this tank is a little bit more feisty than the last one. He actually comes up and he gives me some butterfly kisses right here. We're sitting there playing with each other, calling each other George and smacking each other's dogs. So I get out thinking the tank was going to explode. Now one of the reasons I really hopped into this tank to begin with is because I accidentally picked a recon class. And I thought I would picked engineer and I got out to repair the tank and I'm like what the fuck. Why do I got a sniper rifle in my hand? Um, a spawn beacon is not going to really go that far in helping you repair your tank, you know. Just uh, just a little word of advice. Just just letting y'all know here. And this, look at these two dudes. These two Nancys are sitting there playing with each other like, oh, oh, wait. I don't know how he even got that rocket off on me. Kudos to him. Now, this is where Pyro and Geno Hack are coming huge. Um, you can see right here pyro hopped out of the tank now these dudes are all gonna start pouring out of where I'm shooting towards and um, You know I started using the uh, Heat seeking rockets or the laser designator rockets whatever the fuck you want to call them for the tanks instead of the Coteal HMG or LMG rounds and um, So it's gonna be a little bit harder to kill individual enemies You know if you get in the general vicinity of them you can uh, definitely do some work on them but really, as, as far as not being able to just launch off round after round at them, it's not going to be as easy. Now you can see right here, the tank is just about done. We were down to 4%, and check this out. Just because I'm, a, I'm not a, a fucking, you know, engineer and don't have a pistol, doesn't mean that I'm just going to sit around and uh, hide in my tank. I am going to try to use my Magnum a little bit at least. I mean, come on now. The 44 Magnum is one of the most badass guns in the game. I love it. You know, I get a lot of one-shot kills with it. It is absolutely amazing. And honestly, people, I think a lot of people kind of sway towards the, um... 
whatchamacallit, the G18s, you know, fully auto pistol, da 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 da, I can camp like a noob and shoot off 20 rounds a second at you, it's whatever, and really, I don't know, I just like, I, I like power over speed, I guess, or rate of fire, for that sake, um, the 44 Magnum is by far my favorite pistol. The G18 is good, uh, especially if you're, you know, more of a casual player beginning to this game, and you may not be as accurate as a lot of players that spend hours a day on this game. You know, it's it's really a good weapon in that sense. It gives you a little bit of an advantage for using your second, uh, your secondary firearm, but. Overall, I prefer power over rate of fire. Everyone's got their preferences and their differences of opinion, so on and so forth. So, the other wonderful thing about this game, other than the fact that we just did work on these dudes with the tanks, is that we finished a game of Rush on Operation Firestorm in under 7 minutes, which could possibly be another Battlefield 3 world record, damn it, held by the Svendi Army. If you guys can find a faster game, let me know, post it as a video response, and I will change the title immediately. You can see right there, I get taken out, but that, my friends, is all she wrote. Until next time, people, it is your boy, Svendi. Be expecting an MVP gameplay on Wednesday and plenty of more Battlefield 3 throughout the week. So until then, I will catch y'all later. Have a wonderful April Fool's Day. Much love to the Svendi Army. Peace out.